Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome on into North Dakota today, where we are getting North Dakota nice. Amanda Kozier joining us this morning with our nice person of the week and some overall pretty great stories from around the region. Good morning. Good morning. And you are absolutely right. My nice person of the week this week <gasps> yeah. is not only wonderful and special, mm. but also it was his 75th birthday on past <gasps> Friday. Happy so, birthday. Yes, he's doubly special. So happy birthday. So David Olson, happy birthday <laughs> of Devil's Lake. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. So he, um, David is everyone's favorite person. Uh, he was described by the person who nominated him as the kindest person you've ever met. Wow. So yeah, so um, David is a, uh, here he is in his birthday sticker. Um, David <laughs> is a very dedicated volunteer in Devil's Lake with the cat, uh, the caddy fat rescue foster, the uh, caddy rescue foster. <laughs> He's saving some things. That's I tell all we you. Know. And, but also the uh, Lake Region Public Library, and I'm going to show you what he does at the library. Okay. That's why I'm thrown off. So, okay, he um, is he is there. He is almost their employee at this point. So okay. He's there several times a sure. week. Sure. He attends every single one of their events. He um, not only uh, will write letters that take for the library, but uh -huh. he attends every board meeting and city council meeting to support literacy and mm -hmm. the library. Um, they have two book drops every year where they sell all their books. And um, thank you. And uh, he not only, it's a huge undertaking, they have thousands of books they have to move back and forth. And not only do they have to uh, set them up and take them down, but then they have to do it twice. And he, and sell them, he helps set up, take down, volunteers the full day. Mm -hmm. He also, um, it's a small library, and sometimes at night there's a person that works alone, and oh. so he has offered, he offers to stay if someone's alone and make sure they close up safely. Some security guard. Yes. I love that. He said he's the happiest person. He loves sci-fi. He actually yeah. is not from Devil's Lake originally. He moved there in 99, but he was born in Moorhead and traveled around to 12 different places growing up because his dad wow. was in water. Yeah. So, and he walks everywhere in town. So, uh, they said, so if you see him, say hi. Say hi. Say he, they said he also, uh, they said they call him the mascot at the library because they love him. But they said really he's like truly part of their family. Yeah. He's just a wonderful guy. Mm -hmm. And I love people like this. This is why I created this segment. So yeah. like, thank you to David and to yeah. everyone in Devil's Lake for being awesome. I love that. Yeah. Well, happy birthday again. Yes, happy birthday. And the fun doesn't stop here. What else is going on? It doesn't. So um, I don't know if you know, but here's a fact. One in four North Dakotans have a disability. Oh. And of those, 11% have a developmental or intellectual disability. No, I did not know this. Yes. So in Grand Forks, those individuals are supported by an organization called Development Homes, which tries to, which works, not tries, they do it, works by meaningful um, employment and social yeah. interactions for people with dis dis disabilities. Yeah. And their latest adventure is amazing. They are building their own bakery Ooh. for people for the people that they serve to work in, and then for, of course, all of us in Grand Forks to enjoy. Oh my um, gosh. It's called Sweet Street. If you're in Grand Forks, you'll know where it is. It's in the old El Rocco. It opens October 15th. They are having all of the baked wonderfulness that comes with gluten. Yeah. And also, <laughs> yes. Also, if you're Grand Forks, you'll know the head, the head baker uh, came from a bakery called Overheaven's Cakes, which closed and losing a bakery, wow. as you know. Mm -hmm is the worst so now we get a bakery <laughs> back and it's Yay. helping people there's a huge number as you can also imagine since these development homes there's a huge number of partners mm -hmm. involved like grand forks public schools to uh again help these individuals with meaningful employment mm -hmm. and so i'm very excited for this yeah. bakery i think that's such a great great service and a great business they actually started with a pop-up shop yeah in uh, oh, sorry, 2015, and now it's developed into its own bakery. I love that. When's the I grand know. opening? October 15th. Woohoo! I'll put some more details on my website about David and about the about the bakery, and then I'm, I'm going to put some more details on my website if we have time for one more yeah, thing. Yeah, really quick. Okay. My sister lives in Asheville, North Carolina, and I don't know if you've all heard, but they are very actively dealing with a very devastating hurricane. Yep. Um, people have been trapped in North Carolina, yep. in Asheville, since Thursday. They have no communication. People are trying to find their families. Mm -hmm. They have no water. Um, so there are people who are doing, um, local people uh, in Asheville and right outside of South Carolina, working on rescue efforts mm -hmm. and bringing in, they're flying in supplies. Actually, there's a pack mule company yeah. coming in. So I'm going to put some links to those companies if you want to help them. But also, I think they could also really use their prayers. It's been 
Yep. As we all know, unfortunately, as we know in North Dakota, what it's like to be in an active mm -hmm. flood, um, and we also didn't have to live in it. We were, we evacuated, so yeah. uh, they are really dealing with it. So let's think about them now. Incredibly important. Thanks for bringing it, it up. Thanks, thanks for letting me uh, add tack of course, on to this. Of course, <laughs> yep, it's going to be a rough. Uh, rough recovery time so yeah it is it is uh it's it's fortunate they are a wonderful community and mm -hmm. helping each other they've been the little bits that we've heard my sister's now evacuated out the little bits that we've heard from her are just amazing tales of yeah. kindness and community mm -hmm. and so but they're going to need a lot as we know they're going to need a lot of it yeah so all right well thank you today thank you thanks Ashlyn. <laughs> <laughs> all right stick around everybody plenty more happening here on north dakota today after this break